Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutation to the sincere Akim as pushing the truth of the Holy Scriptures and fearing sincerity and truth. All right. Just want to do a lesson on repentance. Uh, you know, it's coming down to you know the final hours in these latter days and to the last days whereby this world the, the inhabitants of this world all of us shall be judged according to our deeds right and we need to repent you know we need to repent and turn back turn back to the law statutes and commandments turn back to pushing the truth more and more through the spirit we need to um be conscious of when we when we go off and repent and keep trying keep fighting this good this good um keep fighting the faith you know so to speak um <clears throat> very precept yeah this is uh, ezekiel chapter 18 verse 30 it says therefore i will judge you o house of israel everyone according to his ways say the lord power yahweh power Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, mm -hmm. so iniquity shall be shall not be in your ruin, shall not be your ruin. So um Israel is the first is the first to be judged, starting with the elect and the one third and on down. Alright? They will be first judged, because the scripture says judgment will shall begin at my house. So therefore we need to repent before our our transgressions be our ruin, ruin slacker. Can't be proud and thinking that you know we're in captivity or so whatever. Every little slip we gotta repent, we repent for, and keep trying. Even if we even if we do it again, we gotta keep trying. We can't give up. The scripture says a righteous man falls seven times, and that's lit that's not literal seven. That's you know a number of completion. And we will, will we will be tried with every scripture in this in this book. So that's the amount of times we might fall, you know, through spirit. Um, you wanna say on summer? Yes, yeah, can because we're just touching on what I just said, right? You gonna you gonna fall, all right, until you get it right. Ah. All right, you gonna you gonna go through that test until you 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 ace it, you know. Yeah, the next precept is um, to Jeremiah 8 and 6. It is Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 6. It says, Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 6. I hearkened and heard, but they spake not aright. No man repented, repented him of his wickedness saying what have i done everyone turned to his course as the horse rusheth into the battle all right so the men the lord will will hearken and heard but in comparison two-thirds um won't speak won't speak a right because they can come up with bullshit answers like nobody imperfect god know me heart i try but but say the words i repent or feel conviction for the sins that they do you know that pride blocks them from seeing that and the scripture says um when pride pride is the beginning of sin yeah let me get it yeah get it out it is uh sirach chapter 10 and verse 12. <clears throat> sirach 12 and verse 10 and verse 12 the beginning of pride is when one departed from his maker mm -hmm. and his heart is turned away departed from the Mosai mm -hmm. and his heart is turned away from his maker see for that? pride is the beginning of sin ah, so you see that and one of the words in there is turn and that's what repent means re means back and pent means turn right roughly um roughly breaking that down right so um we can't be in this spirit we can't be in this spirit and we gotta watch us. We gotta be mindful of two thirds because, you know, that spirit could jump on us too. You know, we gotta be mindful. So, what's the next precept? 
The one yeah, go ahead. Up. Yeah, this is Rock 13 and verse 1. It says, He that toucheth pitch shall be defiled therewith, and mm -hmm. he that had fellowship with the proud man shall be like unto him. You see that? Because he's proud, he won't, he won't, he won't admit to his father, you know, his creator, that he messed up. He won't admit. So, what happened? He end up uh, becoming a master of sin, according to Genesis six. And what happened with Cain? All right. Um, go to Sirach seventeen and twenty-four. Sure. Twenty-four. Yeah. Right. Class at four. Yeah, Sirach chapter 17 verse 24. But unto them, but unto them that repent, he granted them return mm -hmm. and comforted those that failed in patience. See that? Comfort comforted those, those that failed in patience. Alright, because Yahweh Shimi Oshai know that in this in these bodies, these chains of darkness that you know sometimes we can we can slip. And he can comfort us with the scriptures many, many a times. And all of us could agree that when you go, when you go into it, there's always, a, there's always a right scripture to comfort you at the right time. You know. Um, <clears throat> get to Sirach 18, verse 13. Me read some more. Oh, this, eh? it's lock, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, verse 25. It says, "Read Sirach 17, verse 25. Return." unto Yahweh and forsake thy sins make thy prayer before his face and offend less you got it huh? yeah because like the kakus going into on the word repent means to um, retur uh, return or turn back mm -hmm. all right and it says uh, return unto Yahweh because we are Yahweh's possession mm -hmm. we are the Lord's possession all right mm -hmm. and we went away from the Lord so what we do now we repent and turn back to him God. all right um, and forsake thy sins and make thy prayer before his face and offend less all right and there's a thing yeah we in this in these chains chains of darkness you know and that doesn't give you a license to sin that doesn't yeah. give you a reason to do whatever you want all right but it's scripture say to offend less because we will slip we will go off all right but have it have that mindset you know that hey you're gonna try your very best yeah. you know yeah, it's lucky, I guess it. It's all good. Yeah. It's lucky, yes, Amo. Turn again. <laughs> yeah, it says, turn yeah. again to the Mosai and turn away from iniquity. For he would lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate thou, ab and hate thou abomination vehemently. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. And the word um, vehemently means powerful. Okay. All right. Or powerfully. So you're supposed to hate, hate abomination, hate mm -hmm. sin. Kind of. Like act, act like quote the precept um in Sirach it says to, to to flee from sin like from a serpent. Kind of. Sirach thirteen and one. Go yep. to that. Probably thirteen? Yes, yeah, Sirach no, thirteen. Thirteen and one. No, it's not thirteen and one. Thirteen and one is with um the proud man. Oh yes, lock you. Twenty one and one. Yeah. Yeah, I was meditating on the one too. Not 21 yeah, twenty one and two. Mm. Sirach twenty one verse two. No, sorry, one, twenty one and one. My son, as thou sin, mm -hmm. do so no more, yeah. but ask pardon from thy thy former sin. That's a, that's what repentance is. Asking him pardon. It's like yeah, how about you know, shy? I know I fuck up, and I know I deserve death for this, but only you alone could pardon me. Only you alone could give me a chance. So if if it's you will, if you show me the mercy. I do my best and give me strength enough to do it again. You know, simple prayers though. And this is it. And you believe by faith that the most time forgiving you continue with the works. Continue doing videos, continue doing lessons, continue abstaining from, from sin as much as you can. You know? Continue praying and fasting. Continue being charitable to brothers. You know? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it says, flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. Mm -hmm. For if thou comest near it, it will bite thee. Mm -hmm. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, uh -huh. slaying the souls of men. Yeah. So that's playing straight. Yeah. You know? That, that sin, that sin, sin kills you spiritually. Yeah, and this is the worst death. Uh, read verse 3, Baba Kusha. Yeah, verse 3. All iniquity 
is as a two-edged sword, the wounds whereof, whereof cannot be healed. See that? The wounds cannot be healed. Only your halbash you know, she can heal one wounds. Nobody can of themselves say that, um, um, you know, I good, I clean. And scriptures talk about it, he that say he, he, he clean or he's um, free of no sin is a liar, roughly paraphrasing. He that sin is not. Yeah. Um, go to Sirach 18 and verse 13. It is a uh, Sirach chapter 18, verse 13. The mercy of man is toward his neighbor, mm -hmm. but the mercy of Yahweh is upon all flesh. Uh -huh. He reprove it and nurture it and teach it and bring it again as a shepherd his flock. Good, and there's a man of understanding knowing that the things that he's going through is for Yahweh to show forth his mercy and so that he could nourish him and so that you love Yahweh by Hashem El Shai Mo. Yep, yep. You know? Because if, if it was our love, we would have taken shit for granted. That's why we that's why the most I put we in these chains of God darkness, so that we could even worship him even more. We, for, we forever indebted to Yahweh by Hashem El Shai. We can't pay you back in no way. Next verse, I probably shall. Yeah, Sirach, Sirach chapter 18 and verse um, 14, it says, He had mercy on them that received discipline uh -huh. and that diligently seek after his judgment. All right, so after you repent, this is exactly where you got as I was saying earlier, true spirit. Um, verse 15. My son, blemish not thy good deeds, neither use comfortable words when thou givest. Neither use uncomfortable words when thou givest anything. Alright, so when you're giving your bash me out shy praise or if you're giving a brother stuff, don't use uncomfortable words. You know, like uh let's see if we give an example. Can't yeah, tell like you you're trying to um, yeah, reproach your brother. Can't. You know, like you like you shame yeah. like if like if you you know the the word um a braid act. Kinda, yeah, yeah, to expose, like a brother asks you for some money yeah. so that he could buy some food. Yeah. You know, and you're giving it and he's like, hey, all they say, go and buy the food that you got. I know you're hungry. Or, you know, yeah, 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 kind of. I know that you needed to know stuff like that, you know. Um, good to jump to verse 20, Babusha. Yeah, verse 20 says, Before judgment, ask, examine thyself. And in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. And that's what repentance is. Is that the most, the scripture says, a wise man knows when he slippeth. Only a man that examines himself knows when he slip. And he can examine himself before judgment. And so that he can find mercy. Because most I can fuck people up. Most I done doing it already. You know, most I done doing it already. And you can turn it up even more. And this is what we're praying for. This is what we're hoping for. This is what we're fasting for. You know, verse 21. 21 it says humble thyself before thou be sick and in the time of sins show repentance Good. humble yourself don't be proud humble yourself again when you knees do whatever you gotta do cry out if you need to sometimes you might not find words sometimes you just might be silent and you're just hoping that the how about shimmy or shall hear the moaning and groanings you know yep yep because you're so ashamed a true man would be ashamed ashamed of sin because it's like like um, it's like you, it's like you're naked, basically, you know, spiritually. I could say uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, because like the scripture saying um, in Romans, Romans chapter eight, yeah. we talk about how the spirit make it intercession for us. Kinda see, and 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 that's something that will happen to us, brothers, because Kinda. at times we may be lost for words, and that's yeah. why the scriptures say that we delight after the Lord the Most High with the inward man. Can, can. See, after the spirit, that's 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 really where where that Israelite, you're an Israelite after the inward man. <laughs> you know, not not this flesh. This can. is the Eden body. This is not. This is not the. <laughs> <laughs> nice, uh, crazy, 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 yeah, folks. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The scripture says, um, shots. He just had a two D roll, man. Yeah. So many roll, man. Anyway, read um, twenty, twenty one. Yeah. Read back twenty one. It says, humble thyself before thou be sick, and in the time of sins, show repentance. Oh, just remember, Spirit. So, so it says that 
sometimes you know not what you pray for exactly but the spirit make intercession for us roughly paraphrasing so yeah so yeah. it says humble like salakia yeah go ahead yeah, it says humble thyself before thou be sick mm. like when niggas this do and especially in these christian churches they would wait until they they are in a certain calamity and then try to get themselves right okay. you know they don't they don't prepare or or try to make it right with the mosai before they 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 in a jam but when they in a jam all of a sudden they they the humblest person they doing everything they giving arms they you know and that's that's hypocritical okay. all right it says and in the time of repentance show sin so whenever you do slip up now you know show that repentance yeah and go ahead uh. yeah a, a precept just come to mind yeah the precept is um when thou art rich think about the days when you're poor yeah or yeah when thou art, you know what there? yeah i think this is um Sirach 21 a couple of Since Sirach 21 and um uh, New words search it. Oh, you know the words? It's good. Because I was yeah. looking for this, yeah. Sirach chapter 18 and um, verse 25 it says um, when thou hast enough remember the time of hunger and when thou art rich think upon poverty and need okay. right, and this is the thing this is the thing and this this being ungrateful for them them wicked ass Christians right but it's another topic go to Acts 3 and 19 Bible for sure Yep, it's Acts chapter 3 verse 19 Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out Alright, repent ye therefore and be converted Alright, so that your sins be blotted out Because if you don't repent, the sins still lingering And you're making no change for turn back Because it first starts with first confessing the sin And then, and then making a constant decision to change Right up all right, it says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Uh -huh. when, the time, when the times of refreshing shall come, mm -hmm. come from the presence of the Mosa, of the Lord. Okay. So when the time of refreshing, so once you don't cover all them sins, because when the door shut, you can't, when you can't, you do I repent, I repent, bam, 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 I repent. That's a similar to the Passover. Maybe the door shut and, and, and Destroyer come and catch you. They he, he looking for you. You it's like, hey, give me a little agile run in this house quick. No, you can get done with right if he's a forest barn. Um, okay. like the virgins, the five and the wise and the foolish virgins. You can't like them. Yeah, go to Surak 20 and 3 by Wisha. No one more after this. Yeah, this is our Sirach chapter 20 verse 3. How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? Slack, yeah. Start from one. Sirach 20 verse 1. There is a reproof that is not comely. Mm -hmm. Again, some man holdeth his tongue and he is wise. Okay. So, it's a reproof that's not comely because this was caused pride because sometimes you're expecting your reproof to be soft. But the reproof that be harsh so that you would so that you would fear how about Shimia or Shai. So that so that it keep the spirit in check. You know, the apostle Paul was saying in Corinthians that um, um, the spirit of the Lord buffeted me. And when you check the word buffet means like fight or, or wrestle. Yeah. Beat. Beat, yeah. Right? And that was to keep you in check. 
you know, because he has all the revelation, just to keep you in check so that he won't get puffed up. Yeah, go, um, verse 2. It says, it is much better to reprove mm -hmm. than to be angry secretly. Yeah, so it's much better to be, to be reproved than to be angry secretly. You know, the most I want to reprove if he didn't love you. Where that? It says, and he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from earth. God, cause confession is part of repentance. You can't just, you know, repent. To, I mean, you don't remember every sin you do, but David, David, um, Malak Dawada, King David, said, um, um, cleanse me of secret faults. You know? Reveal to me secret faults, I believe he said, if I'm not mistaken. All right? Uh, verse 3, Bible Shah. It says, How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? For so shall thou escape willful sin. Alright, how good it is when thou art reproved. Because they're going to help me escape willful sin. They mean, you know, they mean that um, you're being warned. It's like when your parents say, Boy, I told you not to play. I tell you to stop doing this thing, you know. And you still don't listen. And you are warned because you're being reproved. And then, then when the most I check you on your shit, um, yeah, you, you, uh, this is when you realize you, this is when you realize you messed up, and um, and next time you're gonna escape willful sin. Yep. All right. Um, last precept, Revelation nine, verse twenty. Yeah. Um. Revelation chapter nine. And verse 20, because it says, if you don't repent, this is what gonna happen to you. Go ahead. Huh? It says, And the rest of the men which were not killed by those by these plagues, mm -hmm. yet repented not of the of the works of their hands, mm -hmm. that they should not worship devils mm -hmm. and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, uh -huh. nor, or, nor of their thefts. Alright. And they, they repent because of this reason. Go to uh, Revelation 22 and verse 11. Nobody want to be the nigga. Nobody want to be the nigga. Well, you know, I shouldn't want to be the nigga that, that didn't repent of his sins. 22 and 11, right? Yeah, Revelation chapter 22 verse 11. Mm -hmm. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Mm -hmm. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Mm -hmm. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Good, because your door closed. And, and you remain in your wickedness, you know. You didn't practice the righteous act. You didn't rehearse the righteous acts. You didn't practice practicing truth so they could remain in you. You didn't show light, you show darkness. So that's why you most I seal you with your wickedness. Most I left you dirty. And when and just, just like when you come and find well find somebody doing doing some strippiness. Like for example, um you got a dog and he, and he make a mess. And you just punish your dog so you won't do it again, and this will exactly what happened. Read verse 12, Abusha. Verse 12 it says, And behold, I come quickly, mm -hmm. and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work. Uh, shall be and um, you know this is that's playing straight the most I, the most I, we will send his son shortly Yahweh will send Yahweh Shai shortly and what, what 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 manner of person will you be when he returns will you be a fucking nigga or will you be a righteous prophet a righteous man the law a righteous Israelite so called Negroes Latinos Hispanics and Amerindians and Native Americans and confusion of faces, you know. And with that, we pray that this lesson was that you find. You want to say anything else? Uh, this is it, uh, okay. We want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakodash, double honesty, apostles, and elders of great millstone, and sincere Akiyam. Shalom.